Okay, so we got the screen printer from X Tool. This thing is pretty sweet. I just kind of wanted to do a quick review on it, let you see what I think about it. So most of the videos show you you get this thing for spreading your paint, but it also has like a freaking magnet on the back, so you can just like attach it to the side. Oh, there we go. But you can attach on the back. However, due to space, I can't really use it as much as I like. But you also get a spreading knife. You can take this, you scoop out your paint, you dab across the top of your image, and then you'll take the spreader, you just scrape it down. Now these were just some practice ones that we were messing with, so we kind of overlapped it, but I'll show you what we came out with. You also get this burlap bag type thing that you get for practicing, but we obviously did different colors on this. I wanted to see what it looked like. It came out pretty good quality. So with this, you have where you can push it down. You have a little lock right there. You twist that, it'll tighten up so that this doesn't pop back up. When you're done, you loosen that up. Let this come up like this. You can lift. Now, you have access to your shirt or whatever it is that you're screen printing right here. With this, you have these little pieces right here. And when you're putting the screen in, you eventually tighten those and it stretches the screen so it's tight. One issue I found with the screen though is that, okay, let me grab a different one real quick. See all this, the masking tape looking stuff? This comes on the new ones. However, it is not on that one and I'll explain in a second. The reason I don't have the masking tape on this is because when you wash these, that masking tape gets wet. So this is one big flaw I see with that. They should like rubber dip the edges because when you try to put these in here afterwards, it becomes basically like metal shards and it can poke you and it kind of sucks when you're reusing this. Also, for whatever reason, it becomes harder to stretch this out and make it tight. So when you put it down on your image, and scrape your paint through, you might have a little bit of gap in there. I personally wish that they did the edges a little bit different. However, still a much better system than, you know, what they used to use. Now with the base one, which I got, you get one of these frames. I got three of these uh, screens. You get the board, you get this, this. You also get this piece right here, which is like the little plastic thing that goes on top. Hubs here, so you can uh, move these in different directions and adjust this board. So when you're screen printing, it's a little bit easier to line things up. This is a pretty straightforward machine. You have these little rods here. I don't want to pop it out, but you loosen these, you pop these rods out. Sorry, you have these rods here. So there's four of them, one, two, three, and four. And when you pop those in there, you kind of bend them back. You watch some of the other videos to get that. And then you lock these in, it'll stretch that as well. So it really is about getting this super tight. So when you lay down on your shirt, you can get a clean image. Overall, I think this machine is pretty sweet. One thing I did learn, if you're using white shirts, you wanna put a board in between the back of the shirt and the front of the shirt because the paint will leak through to the front. Now, as far as paints, we got the, the one bundle where it came with a special limited edition uh, gold with glitter or whatever, which is cool. But we got black, we got yellow. I haven't used that one yet. We got blue. And then we got what is supposed to be red, but I'm telling you, this is more of a pink color. I, th I don't know if they just messed up and labeled it wrong, but like, look, you can see the paint right there. It dried and it's, it is not red. That is not red. I don't know why they put red. I think it was a mess up on their part. I haven't really reached out. I don't really care that much because we'll get more, but they also have this it's supposed to be like some limited edition glitter gold. I like it. It looks pretty good. However, I think with the screen printers, this gold, or the glitter that's inside of here is so fine they get stuck in the screen even when you wash it. So I'm worried that when I use this next time, it's gonna have glitter mixed with whatever color I use. It came out pretty good, it washes well. It doesn't really seem to have issues with like coming off and it sticks to the fabric really well, but it, this is a really good natural look. 
I also did the front pocket. Right there, same thing. The screen printing came out super nice on these. All right, when you're doing the laser engraving, notice how this lines up with what your image is gonna be. When you're actually, pull this out. When you're engraving, you want it like this inside your laser engraver. So the laser is closer to this. It's gonna poke and then it's gonna do this. One big thing, do not forget this, is you have to flip your image because you're gonna actually flip this whole thing over when you do it. So you need to make sure your image is flipped when you're laser engraving it, okay? So everything should be backwards. 